Hi guys, this is uh, Gareth from Going Vegan and and Kayleen from Going Vegan. And how are you? I hope you're all having a happy new year. We thought we'd come back at you with another video. I'm um, just going to freestyle discuss something like we did um, with the, uh, the the recent review in our, in our last video. And uh, we, we uh, watch a few channels that do this kind of format. So. I keep on bumping the mic. Sorry. Sorry. Let us know what you think if you'd like to see more like this or give us a thumbs up and leave a, a comment in the description below. So today we're going to talk about whether kids should be vegan. Going vegan for a year. Right? Mm -hmm. That's a hot topic. Everyone has an opinion on this topic. I've since learnt, since becoming a vegan myself. Um, so what I've usually found is if, if someone is of a, uh, you know, standard Western diet or the standard American diet, otherwise known as SAD in uh, Dr. Gregor's book, um, <laughs> how was it? How to not die. I right? think it's the one, yeah. Uh, they go... Uh, that, that when I when I often when I tell them I'm vegan, they're like, "Oh, do you uh, do you force it on your children? You know, or are your children vegan?" And you're like, "Oh, you have to deal with that that particular response." And then on the other side, um, if if your children if you say your children aren't vegan, then the um, people who are on some some vegans will say, "Well, well, why are you raising your children up to be like murderers and?" You know, um, so on the one hand, certain groups of people think that you're malnourishing your child and causing a child like problems with growth, severe distress. Yeah, and on the other side, you're raising your child up to be a, a psychopath. So, <laughs> what are your thoughts, Kelly? <laughs> okay, first of all, I just wanted to say that it's kind of interesting. Um, because even the concept of having children, the lighting is a little bit weird. It's nighttime and, and we just have the one lamp on. So let us know if the light's a little weird. We can add more next time. Um, so weird. Yeah, so weird. Or is it nice and mellow? Um, Chill. Yep. Um, so first of all, there are many vegan communities, many vegan individuals that believe that even having children makes you automatically, by default, not vegan. This is true. Yes. Um, there are many people who... <laughs> road. Um, no, I was just making it more uh, in the middle. ...who believe that, um, or they believe this so matter-of-factly that they, uh, when they're quite young, such as Vegan Gains, I think he's... Is he even 30? Maybe 30? I'm not he's sure. In his 20s. Is he in his 20s? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's already had a vasectomy. He seems to hate children. Yeah. Mm. In fact, he's done a video. It's, it's been a parody. It was a parody, but it was a pretty extreme parody about how much he hates children. And yeah. So, pretends to stamp on a child that's in a crib in yeah. his video. Yeah. Um, I should state that um, we became vegan after having children, and... I was vegetarian from, I think, probably when I was 18 or 19, and I'm 38, 37. How old am I? 37? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My, uh, whatever. Anyways, so it's a little bit tricky. Um, I mean, I think for us, honestly, it's been a transition over time, and I think as a family, you have to kind of ignore what most people have to say about you being a parent and just try and do your best with the best information that you can find. For us, it's been transitioning from trying to find re replacing foods that they like and uh, offering <laughs> different things. Remember, it's hard enough to get a child to eat in the first place. If you take away all the things that they enjoy eating and try and force them to eat something else, um, 
it's not it's not going to go so well, or at least it didn't for us. So uh, what we've been doing is uh, giving some other options, taking away stuff, and you know, so for instance, Milo really liked nuggets, so we replaced them with uh, these tofu nuggets. And he really likes those. Um, I'm trying to work more towards a, a whole food plant-based diet. So while I'm doing that for myself, I'm trying to find ways to sort of sneakily put it into my children's food. So for instance, it's not just, for me, it's, it's the veganism. So the, the, the avoidance of harming animals, but also making sure that my children get good food and I do that by making smoothies and adding vegetables uh, to different things and trying to sort of make dips make make it more interesting it's a journey and I think eventually well someone like even Ella like she understands what veganism is conceptually but she really really likes cheese and it's difficult for me to find a replacement I would I wouldn't mind we've tried introducing her to other cheeses um but they just they don't they're not the same for her so and she said she might give it up at a later date she wants to be a vegan in, she wants to be a vegan when she's older but not right now when she's a kid and she's mm-hmm. she's expressed that but right now she's a vegetarian she doesn't have any she doesn't like anything with meat in it so i think part of the reason as well why cheese is i mean everybody knows this within the vegan community or maybe you don't um cheese is very addictive right it's got um casein which is a cancer um it's a carcinogen but it's also got parts to it that are addictive which means that you can actually go through withdrawal when giving up cheese so for a child to have an addiction at such a young age it's difficult to give up it's difficult even for adults to give up um I think we tell our children where food comes from and even through being honest, um, which doesn't mean we need to be vulgar about it. We don't need to be explicit in our details. We don't say, oh, that came from a cow that was murdered and um, this is how it died. And, you know, we tell them that... um, this is how long a cow would have lived if it was um, not being used um, to make cheese and milk. You know, this is how long it could have lived. This is um, the healthy traits that it has. It, it's got the maternal instinct. It's just like uh, any other mother within the animal species, you know, within the animal kingdom. Um, they've got that connection to uh, their youth. Human beings are not alone in that they care for their young. I can't remember where else I was going with that. It's just unfortunate that our whole society is saturated in the Western diet and and eating meat and eating cheese is, is very much prevalent and it's difficult to get away from. So when my children um, go to parties and when they're at grandma's, there's very little I can do to just stop them from enjoying a treat that those people who are taking care of our children offer them. Um, and at the end, it's going to be a decision that they make. Mm-hmm. And hopefully we can influence them in making those decisions. And um, I'm not about <coughs> to, to make our child be ostracized from the world because mm. of how they eat um, mm-hmm. and it being different. They can vocalize that, but I mean... I. I don't want to be like, no, you cannot eat that. We say, this is where this came from. This is maybe something else that you could try that's different. I mean, um, just to add on that, I know from reading um, a couple of books that a high cheese and high um, meat diet for for a child can lead to the early onset of heart disease. So I tried to limit that as much as possible. And uh, early onset of puberty. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it causes all that stuff to happen way faster so with again if you're a parent and your your concern is with um turning vegan and 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 turning your your family vegan you have to do it one step at a time and for me what motivates me is um the statistics relating to longevity so um 
I'm eating so I can be here longer for my children. My m mother, she had um, a Western diet and she ate lots of meat and she died quite early on, uh, only less than 10 years older than I am now. So for me, it's important to try and make these changes now so I can prevent a long-term disease. So there's that. And I, and I suppose part of me being uh, more lenient towards my children and less strict in terms of what they eat um, is because I know it's not going to harm them as much at this stage as it, as, it, as it would for me at my stage in life. Um, and another thing, if we'd given birth to children, our children, as vegans, it would be di very different to how it is now. Like I, we, and uh, because the the children would have been brought up on this food, and uh, it would be easier to sort of maintain. But as it is, we're a family that's sort of going through transition, and and I'm hoping at one point, maybe over the next couple of years, I'll have enough culinary skill set that they won't have any cravings, and I'll be able to limit these situations where they do have. Uh, these kind of foods open to them. I mean, even now it's difficult for me. If I want a piece of chocolate, I have to hope that the 7-Eleven I go to has dark chocolate, and I have to hope that that dark chocolate doesn't have any milk in it. And the children at, you know, at Halloween, it's difficult to just say, sorry, you're not, you're not allowed any candy. You're not allowed to go out with your friends and enjoy that situation when I remember enjoying it myself. But mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a difficult balance. It's like what society dictates and expects and, and to what level you want to prevent your children from, from being a part of that. And I think this is probably something that every family goes to and, and there's through, and there's going to be a huge range of where they are uh, mm -hmm. in that situation. I'm not a very sort of angry, shaming type parent. Um, that doesn't that doesn't do any good. <clears throat> they turn into um, later on. Mm. They're going to be like, oh. I didn't like the way he did that, yeah. so I'm going to do the exact opposite. Yeah. Well, that's where we are anyway. Um, I would recommend uh, doing your research and, and working with your child in turn, and just being honest as to where the food is coming from. You won't get any meat products in our house, but what we struggle with is the occasional dairy and, and cheese and eggs. So, I think um, one other thing that, that should be mentioned is that when somebody says that... Um, for some reason, oh my goodness, how could you give them a vegan diet? They're so, it's so restrictive. They are missing out on vital nutrients. It's not true. Keep in mind that no matter what type of diet you have, you could have a Western diet and you could be eating completely crap and not getting the nutrients your body needs. So no matter what type of diet you have, no matter what type of lifestyle that you have, you can have completely crap food. Even as a vegan, you can eat processed stuff and it leaves you fat, mm. you know? Like, and that's, I think, part of our struggle is like sugar addiction and really leaning for those foods that... We started this year better, I think. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm. those foods are seem so addictive that mm. that are like processed and they're easy when you're busy and it's difficult as well because you're like i want to support the vegan foods so you buy the like junk something gardein ho ho or right hoping it hoping it will stimulate more but the the truth of the matter is it's better to buy fresh produce and cook and prepare it from home mm -hmm. if you're going to get vegan pizza every day you're at risk from <laughs> some of the health diseases that anyone on a regular uh west because the fats in there you know the oil and, and the oil clogs up your arteries just as bad as the cholesterol in the animal fat so um you have to be careful in that sense i mean you are le harming less animals but what we're trying to do is cause less harm all around harm less harm to ourselves and less harm to the animals and find that find that balance it's um, all about <clears throat> intention you know like mm. If you lean forward and you're being aggressive towards people and you're saying, uh, you're not a vegan, you're you're allowing your children to eat some cheese or um, you're not restricting their diet or their, um, their lifestyle so that they're only eating vegan. But if somebody comes at you with a super negative um, 
tone, then, I mean, you're going to be very reactive. You're, I mean, if anybody said that to anybody about anything, their their response would be to go, whoa, yeah, I'm going to ignore that and go in the opposite direction. You can compare, it doesn't work. You can compare veganism to religion in a, in a sense. If someone attacks you for, for something that you believe very strongly in, you're not going to you're not going to respond unless you're very strong in internally in terms of like how you control your emotions you're going to have a negative reaction to that you're not going to say well thank you for you know sharing your, your very negative opinion of thank my views thank you for shaming you know. me <clears throat> and making me feel like i failed as a human being but we've gone on yeah. 15 minutes now oh, so yeah. i just want to say okay we were talking for so long that it kicked us out so so if you ha if you're let us know if you're on the similar journey and what you do with your children and how you have found it on your journey and also let us know if you have any questions relating to um, this particular situation or any other situation and we'll maybe have another little discussion about it in the future or comments you know if you if you think hey I went through that and this is what I did and it worked we want to hear about that yeah like you know, we found we're helping a, each other we found a channel in the UK and they seem to be rocking it right now and their, their kids are eating pretty much full-on vegan food so that inspired me a little yeah. bit being out here in the country it's difficult to find all these uh, good foods you have to spend a lot of time preparing and it's not always possible and at the end of the day you want your child to eat you don't want them to you know get sick because they're not eating anything so yeah so uh right. on, on that note thanks for watching and uh, we'll see Stay you warm. next next time bye